vlog. If you're new, my name's Katie and I am on my way this morning to cycle. I haven't gone in a few days, so I thought today would be a good day to go. Today's vlog is going to be a day in the life of a student slash content creator slash just person, human, in this human experience. And I just wanted to bring you guys along. I have been having a little bit of an issue with motivation. I was gonna say productivity, but I still get everything done even if I'm not motivated. But I like being motivated and excited to do things, to do my schoolwork and to go exercise and you know, just all of that. And I've just been having issues. So I thought today, it is Monday morning, would be a good little hack, a good little trick to vlog and film so I can trick myself a little bit into having those motivation habits and building those motivation habits again for you guys and for myself. So that's the plan. Um, as I said, I'm on my way to cycle. I haven't gone in a few days just because I've been really prioritizing my sleep and making sure that you know I'm getting enough rest with my new teaching schedule but I just wanted to chat real quick before I got there and before I went in and just check in and like see how you guys are doing there was my little check-in I'm great other than my motivation is lacking and I just need to find that again and build it up because I usually am very motivated and ready to go and I just want to sleep in and not go anywhere which happens like I know you know not every time and every day or I know not every stage of life and every day you're supposed to be just ready to go and ready to seize the day you know it, it, things happen and there are cycles of life but um, I just can't do that for that many days I don't have that luxury slash ability I don't know if it is luxury so yesterday I did it I fully like didn't have anything on my calendar and I just slept like I took naps and Thomas went snowboarding and came home and I was just chilling so that was fun that was nice I think giving myself a nice full day I didn't exercise um, you know ate well ate healthy but also like yummy things I had like a little ice cream cone that is like my favorite so we had so I had a good like relaxing moment which was good very very good but yeah, I'm just like, I'm forcing myself to jump out of it today and get to work because it's been a few days of just not feeling it. So we are going to do all the things today that I normally do that just set myself up for a good week, a good mood, a good mindset. So as you saw this morning, I didn't wake up as early as I could have. I slept in a bit because that is an example of me making sure that I'm getting enough sleep and I'm not forcing myself too much so I'm just unhappy on all sides you know so slept in a bit and um, I woke up and did my ice roller that is something that has become a little routine and it just makes my face feel really nice and my ever going battle with acne I think my face just looks better when I ice roll it in the morning and the puffiness too so we did my ice rolling and then I did a little meditation. Today I only did a two minute one to be honest, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. If I was not going to meditate, which probably would have happened if I didn't do the two minute one and I was like, no, you need to do a 10 minute one or something, I probably wouldn't have done it. So setting yourself up for success and even if that's a very, very small meditation or a very small task, whatever it is that you're setting yourself up for start small because it still is valid and you still did the meditation even though it was a smaller one so that's another thing I'm working on with myself just building up those small habits of motivation and getting things done just by doing small things you know so like I said I think I kind of went off on a tangent just wanted to check in let you guys know what I was doing um, I want to know how you guys are doing 
I I'm really happy I feel like my channel is growing the family is growing and I'm really excited to have all you new people subscribed and here and I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that I see you and I love the likes please keep liking and keep commenting I'd love to get to know you guys and learn more about you and just build the community and build the tightness and close-knit you know part of the community of YouTube because I just know like I feel so much better in life and in general when I have friends and I have people supporting me and surrounding me so I want to give you guys that too and I want to feel like we're all friends and we're all a community anyway I'm just talking away this morning um so continuing on this Monday, motivational Monday morning, car chat over. I need a song or two to pump me up, get me in the mood, get me ready for this class. So we're gonna do that. Let's play my favorite song. If you guys haven't heard this song before, you're missing out. Look it up. I'm back, post cycle. Oh my God, I don't know why I sometimes resist movement, especially cycle, um, on days that I don't think I like want to go. Like yesterday I was signed up for a cycle class with Sarah and I didn't go just because I just wasn't feeling too hot and I wanted to just listen to my body. But like, oh, I always feel so incredible after. I don't know why I resist it because today I didn't even want to go. It is my time of the month and I'm having cramps and I'm just craving chocolate and I just want to sleep all day and I went and it just like okay my mind's everywhere but if you guys live in Flagstaff you have to come try cycle bar with Sarah literally her classes are like church like I'm not kidding you guys like the endorphins you get anyway when you're working out, like, just make you feel amazing. But, like, Sarah's just extra. She just, like, gives you, gives you a nice talk. And she's just, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it just, it feels like church. Like, the community, and you guys know how I feel about community. But also just, like, she gives you, like, these pep talks. And she's just so special. And, um... So this morning I had class with her and I kicked butt. I feel like I was working today. I came ready and I did 12 miles and then I just feel really like collected mentally. Um, Sarah had a little pep talk and I feel like she was just like talking directly to me today, which a lot of the time, like, you know, no matter what you're going through, you can kind of take information and perceive it how you want to perceive it and make it work for you so I feel like a lot of time that's what it is but today she was just like she had this whole example about fire and there's two things that happen with fire um either or there's two things that happen with something that interacts with fire so either it makes the fire burn or it connects with the fire and like makes the fire grow and like makes it it, and and or it ignites <laughs> or it ignites it so she was talking about you know like if we're fire and we have that fire people we interact with are either going to burn us out because they know that our flame is too strong and it's going to diminish theirs so they try to burn us or we have people who join forces and ignite and create a bigger and brighter flame. And I just loved that and felt really connected to that. And she was like, don't let anyone dull your fire. And you know, when you cover your fire, it goes out. So don't cover it and oh, just feel great. <laughs> I love her so much. So if you guys are in Flagstaff or if you ever visit Cycle Bar and take a class with Sarah. She is absolutely amazing. She's like the kindest soul ever. I want to like go do something for her, but maybe I'll buy her a coffee or something. Anyway, we are headed home now. Um, like I said, my motivation is a little lacking. In class, I was already like, uh, I don't really want to vlog the rest of the day. We're doing this, guys. I need your help. 
I need your help to keep me nice and motivated and continue through my Monday. So we're doing it. Um, Thomas just texted me and asked what I wanted to eat because sometimes it's like really quick when I come home for me to like shower and get ready and make food and everything before class without feeling like too overwhelmed. So I think he's starting on some breakfast tacos, which thank him so much. <laughs> that is like music to my ears. We had a taco night the other night to celebrate some of my friends. They got engaged and um, we just hosted a little like taco bar and margarita night and it was so fun. And we just have a lot of like taco toppings left over and tortillas. So once again, enlightening you guys, if you've never had a breakfast taco, here is your chance to go and try one, go and make one. Um, it's basically a regular taco, I'll show you guys, but it just has egg and maybe beans in the middle sometimes. Kinda sound like I'm stuffy. Um, so yeah, breakfast taco. That's what I'm gonna have for breakfast. And I really, really want a coffee. I think I want an iced coffee. Maybe I'll do an iced cold brew, even though that kind of makes me a little cray cray. But I kind of need to be cray cray and on top of things for today, so we'll see. But we're headed home and I'll check in with you guys when we get home. Like I told you guys, I've been just having a little bit of like feeling burnt out, which I feel like it's not even that I realized because I think it's the opposite. Like after spring break, I see a little stain on my jacket. After spring break, I just took a while and it is taking me a while to just get back into the groove of like being productive school wise and like having motivation and getting things done. So I don't know. I didn't want to go to class, but I went. I'm glad I went. I stopped at Target on the way home to pick up a few things that we needed. Didn't really need much grocery things, but I just grabbed a few things. Eggs were some of them. I think I've showed you guys before, but the kind of eggs I get are Vital Farms pasture raised. Usually I get organic as well and it comes in a brown um, container and then oh tonight I want to prep and make some tomato soup for when we get home after my hit class because when we get home it's like 7 30 and then I never want to cook and I'm just tired and so yeah so we don't have to do takeout tonight I want to prep some tomato soup So I got ingredients for that. I got some Roma tomatoes and some basil, and then I already have some onions, and I'm just gonna make a quick soup, and then we can make grilled cheeses when we get home and have a really yummy, yummy dinner. The soup. I got some latex gloves because Thomas and I both want some for when we're doing dishes, so I got a large pair and a medium pair. I got some poppies. I drink lots of Olipop, but I also drink poppies. These are also probiotic, like for a healthy gut, um, good alternative to soda. So you know me with all my healthy alternatives. And then I needed some dishwashing pods, so I got those. So um, I will put this away, and then I'm trying to think in what order I wanna do my housework, slash just the few things I have to do today before class. 
Um, but I have to do some laundry and then I have to prep the soup and then I want to just double check and go over my class and just the sets and the exercises because I'm doing a different class tonight. So I think that's the order I want to do it in though, what I just listed. Um, we'll put this all away and then I'll go upstairs and tackle my mountain chair. I've talked to you guys about this before. Um, it's only like maybe two days out of the week that the mountainous laundry pile is on that chair, but today is one of the days. It's Monday and I forgot to do it yesterday slash didn't do it because I was just <laughs> embracing not doing anything and I was like, I will do it as part of my vlog for tomorrow. So we're going to go upstairs, maybe put on a podcast or something or a vlog on my little TV upstairs and get that laundry put away, folded, and then I'll come down, prep the soup, and then while the soup is cooking, I'll take a look at my schedule and like my exercises and I'll run through it with you guys too because I think I wanna make a little reel of just the few exercises that I do. So we'll run through, so we'll run through that together after I do the other things I said. And then I wanna take you guys to hit with me today. Since I'm the teacher, um, I wanna record myself a little bit just to show you guys what it is, just a tiny bit. Um, and I think that's it. And then we'll come home and we'll have that tomato soup and I will just have a nice chill evening. I thought I was maybe gonna go out for a drink with my friend Monet, but I'm not feeling it tonight. I was gonna do it as like a celebratory. You got your stuff done, you were productive, but I'm tired and just feeling like I want to have a chill night in and we'll probably go out tomorrow night. But yeah, without further ado, enough of my just blabbering. I'm going to get this stuff put away and then we'll go start our laundry upstairs. Plank. 
Down the forearms, up, shoulder tight. 